Hello everyone, Blueheart 59s channel here. I want to go over uh, two things: uh, battery disconnect and battery uh, trickle charger. What's better? Which one works the best? I think they both work the best. I like it. I use them both. I'm uh, gonna go over two ways with you. Now, let's say I want to just drive a vehicle during the summer on and off, and I'm not gonna store it. I'm gonna drive it all summer, but you know, not like I said, just on and off. I will buy, I will use a, a disconnect. The disconnect right here. And you can get these at the auto parts stores. Uh, at You know, they're pretty simple, pretty basic. And you always hook up the negative. Do the negative side. And uh, this, the one half goes on to your top pulse. The other half goes on to the, your uh, existing negative cable that's grounded to the frame. So anyway, there you go. And they slide on really easy. So hook it on there, tighten it down, there you go, you got power. I'm not going to drive it for a week or two. Maybe go to the airport for a week, go on a vacation, come back. I know I'm not draining my battery. See, you can store it. I stored this like a month and a half, two months one time, and, still, and my battery still had charge left. So this does work good. And I use, like I said, use this for summertime. Or if you don't have a trickle charger, it will work. And it keeps thieves away. Say somebody broke into my truck, tried to steal it outside or something, and, I'm, and I had this disconnected. They probably try hot wiring it, and then it can work. So there's, it might be a deterrent. Who knows? Now, if I'm going to st store this in the winter time, I'm going to use my trickle charger. It plugs into a regular household, household current, AC uh, 120, whatever. And I got two on here. You got six, six volt and 12 volt. Put on 12 volts because that's what your charging system is on most vehicles. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then I would uh, now when I hook up the trickle charger, that's gonna that's gonna keep my battery 100% maintained all through the winter months. Because I'll store this, I'll store my uh, collector cars for like three four months, and I'm not gonna drive them. That way, the trickle charger is gonna maintain my battery, versus the quick connect is only good for maybe a month or two, whatever. But anyway, here's what we do. So when I go to hook up my trickle charger now, even though I still have my uh, quick disconnect disconnect you want to make sure you want to make sure you got a closed circuit so tighten that down see now I got the uh, I got I got current going to the vehicle now I do is I'm gonna hook up my uh, my trickle charger we got the positive now we got your negative see there's a little spark there See, I don't like grounding to the thing. When I, when I, when I'm putting up, hooking up a trickle charge, I'm going to go to the frame. That way, that way, if there's a short in the system right here, if this gets a short or something like that, then I know it's going to ground out to the frame instead, instead of damage my electrical system. So you can rule of thumb. Just remember this: when you got your trickle charger going, you have to have a connected system. See that? Connected system. This is all connected now. Trickle charger. Okay. Now, the battery is on its own power without a connection. You got to uh, ground it to. You gotta. You gotta go right to the battery. Connected to the system. I do the frame. Not connected to the car. I do the direct pulse. Negative, positive, with the trickle charger. All right, there you go, guys. Peace and lose uh, Sharp 5.9's channel. Please like and share.